Hi guys and welcome back on the channel. So today is going to be a weekly update video on the situation for the Panzer Dragoon series. This week we have a discount on the Panzer Dragoon remake. We are going to talk about that. We also had a few updates on Twitter from the official Panzer Dragoon remake account. We will talk about that. And we also had an interview of a wild man who is the, the person, the, the creator of uh, the Gunner of Dragoon, which is a VR game and who is also the person who is developing the Panzer Dragoon VR game, the upcoming VR game uh, in the Panzer Dragoon franchise. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, we have currently a discount on the Panzer Dragoon uh, remake uh, game on the uh, Nintendo eShop. So if you own uh, one of uh, Forever Entertainment's game, you can have a 20% discount on the Panzer Dragoon remake if you haven't uh, purchased it already. So $20, I think, or 20 euros if you are in, in EU. And I'm pretty sure it must be in uh, most regions, so uh, you can comment below the video if the discount is available in your region, or if it's not, uh, let me know, I will uh, update uh, people on Twitter. Thank you. The Twitter account of the Panzer Dragoon remake, uh, the official Twitter account, also share a few uh, interesting tweets uh, this week. Some fans commented on the Twitter asking about uh, when the, the next patch was coming. The Panzer Dragon Remake official account uh, confirmed that it is coming, the patch is coming, but uh, due to the current uh, situation, it takes longer than expected. They also confirmed that in addition to the fixes that are supposed to be coming in the patch 1.3, there is uh, going to be a fix for the reticle. You will be able to choose if you want the reticle in front of the dragon or just how it is uh, now. The Panzer Dragoon remake official account also shared a few images, uh, a few coloring pages for the fans to, you know, to color the way they want it. So uh, it was it was nice, I think. Uh, it was a nice uh, attention and nice way to interact with the fans. We have seen some nice creations. And that's about it before we start talking about the VR interview. Let's get into this. As you know, there is a VR game uh, coming Apparently, we learn in this interview that it is coming this week. So this interview was conducted by the website for gamer I already started translating some of that with the tools that I have, but we have had an interesting translation by Silicon Era. They did not translate everything, but a good portion, the main bits have been translated. So what we learn in this interview is that Wildman, uh, who is known as Aruto Watanabe, showed the game The Gunner of Dragon to uh, Naoki Ori which is M2's CEO. Most of you probably know who M2 is, but just a quick reminder, M2 is a famous company in video gaming industry based in Japan and they focus mainly on porting old school games, retro retro games. They are mostly behind all the good mini consoles. They have worked on the Nintendo Mini, the SNES Mini, I think, the Genesis Mini as well, the PC Engine. So, you know, they have a solid reputation in this industry. They have a lot of passionate developers, experienced and skilled uh, developers. I think it's a solid reference for Wildman uh, to be endorsed by uh, M2 CEO. So basically, Wild Man showed his uh, prototype, his game uh, Gunner of Dragon to Nao Naoki Ori uh, at the game show in 2018. The game was playable with a headset and a rodeo machine. So if you don't know about the Gunner of Dragon, uh, I'm going to uh, to show you right now. That's basically how, how the adventure uh, started for uh, Wildman. Naoki Ori seems to have become uh, very enthusiastic about it after having seen this Gunner of Dragon game. That's how later Wildman was introduced to Sega uh, thanks to uh, Naoki Ori. Initially, Wildman's plan was to uh, introduce the Blue Dragon in the Gunner of Dragon, but actually, following discussion with Sega, he was offered to license the game instead of just putting the Blue Dragon in his previous game. That's how we discovered that M2 was offered uh, to make uh, an original Panzer Dragon game for the 3DS, which is very new. We've never heard of that before. M2 is mostly known for porting games, but they also do some original games. Naoki Ori seems to be very enthusiastic about the VR technology and the potential of, of Panzer Dragon using this uh, technology. So basically, what is Wildman plan on this uh, Panzer Dragon VR game? He's planning to rebuild uh, a few sequences, a few battle uh, sequences from the original Saturn trilogy. He's not remaking the whole games, uh, he's not remaking the entirety of one or Tsui or Saga in VR, no. He's going because they, they can't, they don't have the resource and, and the budget to do that, so 
they are going to focus on specific uh, battles and also why they choose to select a few bits of each game because apparently Wildman was not sure if he would have another chance to make another game. So yeah, in doubt he wanted to make a little bit of the three games. Let's discuss a little bit more about this translation by Silicon Era. The interview person from 4Gamer is just uh, as surprised as we are to see that a fan, an original fan of the series is uh, developing and self-publishing the game because uh, Wildman is not only making the game, he's also publishing it. So Sega is not taking the risk here. So as I said before, M2CO also uh, confirmed here in this tr translation that uh, uh, M2 was offered uh, to work on the Panzer Dragoon IP and we get confirmation that uh, along the years uh, there were several uh, ideas about you know reviving Panzer Dragoon, the Panzer Dragoon IP, but it never came to fruition. Apparently there was um, a pitch uh, that was sent to M2 uh, to develop a game on the 3DS. That did not happen. Apparently there was something to do with the hardware. They were not confident in the hardware to, to make it happen. M2 CEO is very enthusiastic about the, the VR tech, as I said before. So apparently the discussion with Sega went uh, pretty smoothly. It's probably thanks to uh, M2 CEO endorsement. So it shows the level of respect that the, uh, Sega has for M2 CEO, uh, which, you know, we can understand when you when you see the, the relationship they have. From what I have seen, they uh, M2 works on most uh, Sega Edge sports. They have a solid reputation. They also mentioned that because it was Panzer Dragoon, they could not simply port the original game. Simply use the original code. They had to. Uh, they would have had to rewrite uh, the, the the game entirely. It's a little bit odd talking those terms now. Are they aware of something? Is a port of Panzer Dragoon the original game? going to be announced i don't know um i don't know it's a little bit hard to see them talking those terms all right so that's it for uh, the interview i will put all the links uh, below this video uh, i hope you will find that useful now just a quick word on what i think of the potential of a vr game i think it's great to attract somehow to attract a new audience i think vr enthusiasts are a population of gamers that is quite small at the moment but they don't necessarily match the original Panzer Dragon fan base, which means that maybe some people who are VR players will get introduced to this series thanks to uh, this game. But I'm not sure if the existing fan base is going to uh, be able to access this game. I've been skeptical about VR for a long time, and to be honest with you, I still don't know if I will ever buy a, a VR headset because there are so many different ones and uh, we don't know on which platform this game is going to come. Is it going to come on the PSVR 2? Would I buy a VR headset just for this game? I don't think so. As much as I like Panzer Dragoon, I don't think I would buy a headset just for this one. I wish them good luck and I'm looking forward to seeing some of those battles uh, being remade. I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to see how it will turn out, but I'm not excited to actually play the game. You know what I mean? I'm excited to see how it turns out, but I'm not really excited to play it with a headset. Because, you know, I've seen the demos, the videos, uh, the gameplay videos of the Gunner of Dragon. Doesn't excite me too much, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's just you flying in the sky and uh, you have some waves of enemies coming at you and you turn your head and, and you shoot them. And, and there is this gimmick about the rodeo chair, which you will probably not be able to have at home. So how would that work? You will not have this sensation of Eve immersion since we, you won't have the chair. Maybe, maybe it could work in the, in the arcades rooms. That's what they uh, discuss in, in this interview. But uh, when you are home, you won't have this chair. So I don't know about that. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, on paper it has potential. VR technology is still niche. There is this game that could get me excited, which is uh, Half-Life Alyx, but it's not on the PSVR yet. Will it come on PSVR 2? I know it's one of those killer apps, and uh, I might I might buy a headset for this kind of game, but even so, we, it's not coming on. I'm not going to buy a headset uh, just for one game, uh, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, I wish them good luck. I want to see more. I will always cover any any news regarding uh, Panzer Dragoon, so also the Panzer Dragoon VR game. It will be on the YouTube channel, the socials uh, we have, so don't forget to uh, stay tuned. So follow us on, on Twitter, Instagram, we will get you covered. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you disliked it. No problem, give it a thumbs down. Please uh, subscribe to this channel so that you uh, don't miss the, the upcoming uh, video. Thank you and talk to you soon.